Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Just getting back from Sweden again. And when I got home from Sweden, I noticed some weird things going on with the Huscaroni pizzas. First of all, Gila had a weird lump on her face. I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you in just a second. And it made me really concerned. Anytime you see like a lump or a growth on your dog's face, it makes you go, whoa, what's going on? What's happening? So I've been gone in Sweden, like I said, I got married and I had no idea how long this lump had been on her face, what it was, made me really, really nervous. So I immediately made a vet appointment, but I had to wait like seven days before I could figure out exactly what it is. Now you can see right here on the side of her face, obviously her energy hasn't changed much. As you can tell, what is going on? How come Huskies are so strange? Is that good, lady? That feel good? You get it out? Yeah? Britney Spears, what happened right here? Did your sister do that? Did your sister do that, dude? He's like, I'm, whoa, good God. Holy cow. Never get in the way of a lady Huskies energy. It's, it's wild. Hila, you're nuts. You're nuts, bro. But you guys can see that lump on the side of her face right there. It's not really that big anymore. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is so that you guys are up to date with everything. But I gotta be honest, I was thinking it might be cancer when I first saw it. Like, if you've been with the channel for a long time, my cat, Rue, actually died from jaw cancer. So, so I was really worried as soon as I got home and I saw it miss. What are you doing? What's down there? So let me see if I can try and get this Okay, you see the lump right there? You see it on her face? That right there. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that is for days. It got smaller, it got bigger. So it was a huge mystery to me. So I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what it was so you're not freaking out. Hey, let's be nice. <laughs> Hila, good God, dude. So if you ever see a lump on your dog's face, that's kind of like right below the eye, on their gums. It can be really, really hard. It doesn't even have to feel squishy. It can be solid like a rock. There's a big chance that your Siberian Husky or your dog may have an abscessed tooth. Now, when we took Gila to the vet, we found out that that's exactly what was going on. One of her teeth are cracked and there's a bunch of bacteria growing up in her gums. So the first thing we did was put her on antibiotics. She's been on antibiotics for about a week now and the vet said that it's gonna take some time for the abscess to go down a little bit. Now you may be wondering like, hey, will her tooth have to get pulled? Heck yeah, lady dog Twitter. That's just something we're gonna have to see with time. The veterinarian said that I may have to have the tooth pulled. And that'll be like a $1,200 to $1,500 expense, but there is a chance that we don't have to do that as long as the abscess goes down and it stays down. By the way, I lost this tree during the hurricane. It split in half right there, but it still looks like it's like trying to stay alive. I wonder, do you think this tree will survive even though it cracked in half? Go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I don't know how well trees can recover cover from being snapped in half, but I'm assuming maybe the lower part will stay alive. That would be awesome because I love this tree. And there he goes. He's off. And he is right behind him. She always is. Wait for Art Thou, brother. Wait for Art Thou. Now I'm in the woods looking for the dogs. These dogs never listen to me whenever they're in the wilderness. <laughs> there she is. There you are, mom. Thank you for coming when I asked. So yeah, if you're a Siberian Husky or your dog gets a lump like right under their eye, right there, and it looks weird, definitely take them to the vet, check it out. It may be an abscessed tooth. Now I'm lucky. I'm so lucky. I'm glad it's not something worse. And I'm glad it's just something we can clear up with some antibiotics. And worst case scenario, we'll remove the tooth. That's okay. But we just gotta keep an eye on it. Make sure it's continuously getting smaller. Make sure it doesn't get any bigger. That's for sure. It's always better not to assume that your dog has something going on or something's wrong. You always want to go to a vet and get their opinion. It's really important. Britney Spears! <whistles> Bet he's going to be over there. Oh, no. He's in the woods. <laughs> Good God, these huskies are crazy. What am I gonna do with both of you? What am I gonna do with you? Come on, let's go, dude. <laughs> we wanna thank you guys for watching today's video. If you have something that's happened to your Husky or your dog that's similar, 
Maybe one of your dogs have had an abscessed tooth before. Maybe you've experienced a lump on your dog and you didn't know what it was. Let us know your experience down in the comments. We would love to hear it. Having a dog is always a crazy experience. You never know what you're gonna run into. So it's good to share those experiences so we all have a story to listen to. But we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? Yeah, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Peace! Scooby da ba 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 do ba do ba scooby do ba do ba do do.